Revenge Films. My name is Emily. My husband, John, runs his own company. And I work as the president's wife supporting his business. It's tough supporting my husband, who became the company's president at a young age, and also tending to my child in elementary school. I would support the office work on the weekdays, and I would take care of my child on my days off. I had no time to rest. Thankfully, though, John was the type to really care for me, my family, and the company. So we'd take time to communicate with each other. I was very content with our life so far. One day, when I showed up to work, there was a huge number of cars parked up in our office parking lot. What's up with those cars? Uh, Emily, actually... What? Hearing the story from a staff member who showed up early in the morning, I was shocked. Apparently, when she arrived at the office early, a woman allegedly, my mom friend, came up to her and demanded permission to use the parking lot. She said she would go check if that's possible, but this woman claimed she already got permission from me? So the staff opened up the gates and let her park. Huh? Wait a minute. Is that car... I looked at the car parked outside and realized instantly who this woman was. I quickly called her to ask what was going on. Hello, Miss Large? Oh, Emily, what's the matter? Her name is Miss Large. Her child goes to the same elementary school as my son, and her husband is in a pretty good position and works for a certain pretty big company. When I told her about the wave of cars lined up in our parking lot, Miss Large started talking like there was no problem at all. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you. Actually, I'm on vacation with my soccer club group. We all planned to meet up at the station and go on a bus together. But a lot of people came from out of town and we were looking for a good parking lot. So I want you to lend your office parking lot to us for about 10 days. I wanted to yell at her. Why are you doing such a selfish thing? But I kept my cool and quietly asked her to move the cars as soon as possible. I told her we can't let her keep the cars parked for 10 days, that it will affect our work. But Miss Large and the group had already gotten on the bus, so they can't come around to pick up their cars anymore. Come on, the parking lot is huge anyways. Plus, you're the president's wife, right? Can't you let us park there for free? I can't. Please do something about it. Besides, this isn't my private property. It's the company's. It's not something I can decide just by myself. It's fine, it's a big parking lot. It's not fine. Please, it really might cause trouble for the company. Can you please come back to pick up your cars? To my words, Mrs. Large laughed as she replied. What do you mean by trouble? We just parked a few cars over there and what's the big deal? It wasn't something she could laugh about. It was a big deal. The size of the parking lot was enough to fit our employees' cars and a bit of space for miscellaneous items that we couldn't keep in the office. If this continues, our employees won't be able to park their cars, and we won't be able to keep the things we ordered for our jobs. I tried explaining that to her, but she showed no signs of being sorry, and continued with her talk. Ah, oh, come on now. You know it's not that much of a problem. Plus, if you're gonna continue being mean to me like this, I might tell my husband that he should rethink his relationship with your company. You're threatening us? Oh, I'm not. I just might have a chat with him. Well, that was a threat, all right. Mrs. Large's husband is one of the executive members of a company that we work with. If our ties are cut with them, we would be in big trouble. However, I still couldn't let this one slide. She had no idea how hard it is to run a company. I was anchored at her selfishness and how she just forced her problems onto us. I was at my limit. So I told her coldly, well, then, when you return, I'll be sure to have a proper conversation with you. Okay, okay, understood, understood. And with that, I ended the call. She said understood. I was ready to fight. First of all, I had to find a new parking space for our employees. I also had to look for a shed that I couldn't rent so that I could move the extra materials that were left in the parking lot Mrs. Large took over. Then I calculated the total cost of our company had to cover because of this whole plan. I was pretty busy at this point, and my husband helped me out as well, but I was honestly worn out. Today was the day Mrs. Large would return from our trip. I had a few of our young male employees stay behind and wait for her to arrive at our office. 
And then, later in the evening, Mrs. Large returned with a huge grin on her face. Wow, thanks so much for keeping my car for ten days. So, can you open the gates? Before that, can you please check this invoice? What? I gave her an envelope that was titled Invoice. There were papers that proved how much damage was done to our company for having the parking lot taken over by her. Bills for the extra parking lot we had to rent for 10 days. Bills for the shed that we rented to contain materials for work. The total damages our company had to cover was a total of $45,000. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm able to pay for all of this. Plus you said you would lend me the parking lot for free. I never said that, I'm sorry. But until you pay up, I won't be opening these gates. Stop messing around. We're all tired here. Just open up the garage. I believe you're the one that's messing around. I said we'll have a proper conversation when you get back, and I'm sure you agreed. Taking over our company's parking lot without permission and obstructing their business. Besides, for our company, we've already received damages. So things have gotten to the point where a mere apology is not enough anymore. If you demand you don't pay, then we'll have to bring in a lawyer and have to officially claim damages. If you pay now, though, you know we could settle this out of court. No, wait, hold on a minute. I mean, I just borrowed your parking lot for a few days. Didn't I explain to you? I asked you to move your cars because it would bring damage to our company. But to that, you laughed and brushed it off like it was nothing. When I said that, Mrs. Large became very quiet. This woman isn't aware of what she had done. She doesn't understand that it's a big deal. If you look at this from a different perspective, this can easily be filed under forcible obstruction of business. As we were talking, Mrs. Large's mom's friend started complaining. Why can't we get our cars out? What's going on? They gathered around Mrs. Large. It was soon revealed that Mrs. Large had asked the members of this vacation group to pay her $50 as parking fees. I was so appalled I was at a loss for words. Surrounded by angry moms, Mrs. Large began to panic. She then decided to use her husband card. I are you sure you want to do this? If you don't open these gates, I'll tell my husband. Sure, go right ahead. Huh? I've already called your husband and notified him of the situation. He should be heading over here right now. No, no way. Soon her husband arrived at the scene. The moment he came over, he began yelling at Mrs. Large, telling her, are you trying to ruin my name? He gave a sincere apology to our staff and I, and to the mom group whose cars got all locked up. He then paid for all the damages done, plus extra consultation money on the spot. Just as I had promised, I opened the gates to the parking lot. It was already past 9 p.m. at this point, and because it was getting late, Mrs. Large's husband promised he would come around to our office to properly apologize again, and left the scene. At a later date, both him and Mrs. Large came to our office to give a proper apology about the trouble caused. I'm very sorry for all the trouble and inconvenience caused. I had to let him know about Mrs. Large's threats, and even signed a contract to promise he won't let our company relationships be affected by any private relationships or problems. I also heard that Mrs. Large's husband was so disappointed and angry at her actions, they're currently living separately. She also lost all of her trust and credibility from her mom friends, and she left all alone. Later on, our company was able to officially file for damages and earn a bit of extra cash. So we were able to give our employees a bonus in their salaries. During those 10 days, our employees had to bear and deal with extra problems. So I hope they can have a nice meal or something with the bonus money. Oh, just by the way, after this whole incident, we continue to grow as a company. And now we're having a parking lot, a size two times bigger than before. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.